Hi, in this video we will have a look at Microsoft Dataverse Fire Data Type. So here is my custom entity called Customer Document and I have got a column called Document which is a Fire Data Type. So this video is regarding how to retrieve the file name. So that means once we upload the file under that data type here, that is the file data type, how to get this file name, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is, I got a flow, uh, which is a manual trigger flow, and I'm using list rows, and that's the customer documents, okay? I'm gonna to go to compose, I'm gonna add a compose here, and um, look for my schema name, which is called the document, okay? So as you can see here, my film column name is called document here. And that's the value. Yep. Okay. So let me run this and show you what we are going to get. Right. So we have got two records. So I got the ID of that document. Okay. So remember the file is not directly stored under the custom entity called customer document okay so if you want to retrieve this file and um, you know if you want to send email uh, retrieve the file and send uh, send us an attachment i have got other videos in my channel please go and have a look okay now how to get this file name okay so if you look this schema name you can see it's you know my uh, scheme name is ajb underscore document okay and uh, what we need to do here is to get the name um, look for the p code this is what generally i do and copy that schema without the at sign because it's in a loop then remove that copy the expression as it is then at the end of that field put underscore name this this should give you the file name. Okay, so let's have a look. Here it is. See, I got the file name now. But if you look the list rows, show row output, you can see here, there is a dynamic value here ajb underscore document underscore name see that and also that's a document id there yeah but under the dynamic content we won't be able to see that as a document name here see so the technique is you need to add that as an expression there hope this is useful thank you for watching